I don't want to. You're, you're going to be praying for I, me at the end of service. I didn't either. Although Manuela said she wanted to bring back, so you're allowed to bring three ounces on, three ounces of liquid, right, on planes. Manuela said on the bus, I think we should fill up all of our toiletry things with water from the country and market it as a cleanse. <laughs> she said we'd be rich. Les traigo saludos de desde Cuba de mi hermano Carlos Alamino de su gente un abrazo besos uh, bring you greetings from my brother Carlos Alamino your brother um, he wants you to have a kiss and a hug and I have a message specially for Louis 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 Roberto send you yo no sé he is so grateful to you he loves you he wants me to hug you and kiss you and tell you you need to come back. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to share with you about Roberto. This Roberto, is your one testimony. Roberto, <laughs> my brother yesterday came home from the hospital after having surgery on his throat. Seems like she just switched testimonies. He went into surgery. That's because I'm going to give my Cuban testimony. He, he went into surgery not knowing if he was going to come out with half a tongue, three quarters of a tongue, no tongue, okay? That's where, how he went into the surgery. He came out, glory, hallelujah, missing two tonsils and lymph nodes. The Lord is healing him. Yesterday, my sister-in-law came down, came in from outside, and I came downstairs while I was upstairs at her house, and she's singing the hallelujah chorus. My sister-in-law, who has never in her life said to me, I believe in God, who has never in her life acknowledged that Jesus lives, came in the house singing the hallelujah chorus. And I don't care how you think that I, that I sound or how anybody in the world thinks that she sounds, we sang the hallelujah chorus all day long. And that's a hallelujah. Amen. Roberto, when, we, when I first went to Cuba, three... When I first went to Cuba three years ago, you just took somebody's testimony. Roberto was our, was no, he was our. I'm telling Louis this. I know. He was our bus driver. No, seriously. And Louis spent, I don't the know, entire trip up front. You know, up front with Roberto talking to him. Roberto was reserved. Roberto is a uh, employee of Cuba, which is a communist country. In Cuba, you have to be careful of what you say and who you say it to. It doesn't matter if you're in the bus or in, your, in the restroom with no toilet seat, okay? Um, so Roberto was very guarded. Luis spent a lot of time with him. Went last year. Last year, Roberto asked for, for Luis, but Luis wasn't there. And so he came a little bit further. And at the end of last year's trip, Josh, my brother, was using the Today with, or not the Today with God, the Time to Revive bracelet. And we prayed for Roberto kind of forcefully. I mean, he did it willingly, but not willingly. Like, he was like... People, we were at the airport. <laughs> yeah. It's bad timing on Josh's part. Bad timing is true. This year, glory, hallelujah, Roberto came to me and he said, I asked Carlos to baptize me. Invited me into his home. Like, literally, we, we went by there. He invited me into his home. And showed me his house. No, you're, you're done? That's a glory hallelujah. It is. It's a glory. Let me go on. No, get out of here. 